Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer. This is your first time here. If it's not, welcome back. How you doing? In today's video, we are getting into the artist and the muse, KKWX Mario collab. I have the palette right here. I have the blush. I have the lipstick. I have everything. I created this look with it. I give you guys all my opinions as we go through it. It is focused on the collection today, so I basically just do my eyes, cheeks, and lips for you guys, and I think you guys will enjoy that. So let's see what we think of this. Is it worth it? Is it not? Subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment down below, all that fun stuff. Before you get into the video, I really, really want you guys to be part of my family. I love when people are joining it makes me feel like my content is actually reaching you guys and you guys are actually enjoying it and i really do appreciate that so let's get right into the video all right guys we're gonna get right into the video i've already done my base um i am gonna put powder under my eyes when i'm ready i don't want that to bake too long but we are getting into this palette right here kbw x mario the artist and muse round two the packaging on this is epic. Love it. Love the eye look they did on here. It's so pretty. So something I would totally do, but I'm going to try to do something outside my comfort zone because, you know, you know me. This is the palette right here. So cute. So pretty. Love all the shades. I will insert a swatch of everything right here so you guys can see what that looks like really pigmented i'm not surprised i love her shadows they're so cute i'm gonna see if this palette is worth it as you guys know they already did have a palette they had this palette right here the original palette which i am obsessed with this is a new palette i bought two i have not touched this one this is kind of more so for photos but i was obsessed with this palette i used and abused it and it still is one of my favorite palettes. Comparatively, I think this could have easily been one palette altogether. So pretty. But we're going to focus on this one today. Um, just so, you know. So we're going to get right into the eyes. Let's get started. Um, and I'm going to give you my opinions as we go. So as you guys know, what I first like to do before anything is prime. Actually, you know what? I'm going to scoot you guys in. So you guys can get a real look for the eyeshadows. So let me scoot you guys in. Talk about being close. So my skin is currently breaking out right now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already know. It's because of some skincare I've been trying. But it's okay. It's a lot better than what it was. So I'll accept it. But here we are. So we're going to go ahead and start priming using the P. Louise base. This is in Rumor 1. This is a little light for me, but I still love it. I'm going to continue to use it. I like to go in with the dry beauty sponge. We're going to focus on just one eye because, because two eyes usually take too long. I don't like to, I'm trying not to make my videos super long for you guys, okay? I want them to be something you continue to watch and not click out of. And so we are primed and ready to go. So let's get started. Now, my general rule of thumb would be to go in with don't move. That is kind of my go-to usually at all times. But I feel like today I want to do something a little different. So I'm gonna go up, go in with look up. I love the names of these. I feel like they're so them because I can totally see him seeing that. I didn't clean my brushes. Kind of sucks. Okay, so we're gonna go in with don't move. The reason why I like this primer is honestly because it truly covers everything and I like having a blank base for all that. Now this is obviously too light for me. I normally would want to get a darker shade but you know it, this is what I have. It's fine. It will do. And you guys usually know I like to go in with my eyes first but today since my skin is breaking out I kind of wanted to have all that covered up for you guys even though it's majorly on this side this side is actually pretty okay nonetheless here we are okay so we're gonna go in with look up which is that yellow shade Ooh, a lot of kickback I'll show you guys a lot of kickback in the pan um that does not bother me if that bothers you to you I don't mind a little kickback in the pan just because just means it has pigment you know what i'm saying okay so we're gonna aim with a morphe m518 and we're just gonna blend that into the crease 
leaves. I really don't know what look I'm doing today. We're gonna see. I like to pull that into my brow. It's blending out pretty easily. We're just gonna build up this shade. Not bad. I feel like that actually kind of looks like my skin tone. It probably would have blended in if I used a skin tone shade um, primer. I would never usually start with this shade. I'm trying to do something different for you guys because I know y'all are sick of me doing bronzy eyes, okay? I know, I know. But can I tell you why I keep doing it? It's because it's what people wear, you know? Like, that's what my channel is. I'm trying to do wearable makeup. It might not always be affordable, but it is wearable. Ooh, I forgot to bake my face. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do that before I get yellow all up. Let's go ahead and actually put some baking powder under my eye. We're gonna go ahead and put some baking powder. We're gonna use the Fenty Beauty today, and we are gonna bake under the eye. Cause just in case we have any fallout. I don't want any mistakes. I'm gonna take my wet beauty sponge that I've been using today. We are baked. I just wanted to do that in case we have any fallout. I don't want to ruin my face. I will say one thing about this Fenty Beauty is just so bulky. I wish it wasn't. It's okay. Okay, let's continue. So I think the yellow shade is actually built up pretty nicely. Yeah. So now we're gonna go in with the MAC 224 and we're gonna use the shade Glam King, which is like this burnt orange color. You know what this kind of reminds me of? This whole palette kind of reminds me of the ABH Mario collab that they did. That was a good pack. Ooh, that one has a lot of kickback. We're gonna focus that in the crease as well. Just a little bit lower than where we placed the first color. Everything's blending super nicely, which I'm not surprised. I love KKW shadows. I actually haven't used her shadows in a while because I've been really loving the Tati Beauty palette. I think it's just like so pretty. The shades are right up my alley. It's so hard to like fall in love with makeup and like continually use the same things. Especially when it comes to eyes because there's so much new stuff coming out. Like I get overwhelmed. Like do you guys get overwhelmed? I feel like I get super overwhelmed. But now we're gonna go back in with the M518. Okay, so far so good guys. I'm really liking how this is looking. I think it looks pretty awesome. Going with this Kylie brush, it's a little flat shader brush, a little bit more dense, a little more concentrated. And we're gonna go in with I'm Inspired, which is basically the darkest matte shade in the collection. This one right here, I'm Inspired. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I like how they stick with the gray tones because you know, his first collection is also gray. So these that do have a lot more kickback, I feel like, than her other palettes. And pigment. Hello. How you doing? Wow, that shade had a lot more pigment than I was ready for. It did have a little bit of fallout as well, which is fine. Whoa, was I not ready for that? Here we are, pretty bold look. Not mad at it, just wasn't ready for it. Okay. Now I am gonna cut the crease because I want whatever shimmer shade I put on to show its true pigment. I wish I cleaned my brushes before I started doing my makeup. That wasn't thinking. So I'm going with the Morphe M124, just this like flat, Synthetic shader brush is perfect for cutting the crease. I have some leftover base on my hands. I'm just gonna use that. And we're gonna cut the crease. The number one thing I can tell you about cutting the crease is take your time. You guys know I also like to cut a little bit above my crease because I have a little bit of a hooded eye situation. So I'm taking it a little bit further than I normally take it because I kind of want the color to be very important. We have cut the crease um, and I'm going to take that in I'm Inspired shade, which is that dark brown in the palette, and just blend out this edge. I have to do this before I apply the shimmer shade, just so. Ooh, I think that's like the best cut crease I've ever done in my entire life. Okay, so now what we're going to do 
is apply the shimmer shade because we love some shimmer shimmer. Okay, for this, I'm actually going to use... For this, I'm going to use this brush right here, which is the MAC 242. It's a flat synthetic brush, one of my favorite brushes. And shockingly, we're going to go into... I don't know if this is actually that shocking, but we're going to go into this shade, Mario's Muse, this cranberry shade. I think this look is perfect for holiday time. It's not too dramatic, not too crazy, but still gives you that holiday vibe with cranberry eyes. So I really do like that. We're going to go ahead and use that. Hefty amount. Not, I'm not spraying. We're gonna see how it looks without being having to spray it. This base does pick up a lot. Ooh, I'm here for this. The shade does also have a little bit of fallout. That's okay. Looks really pretty though. Like very pretty, actually. I really like that shade. I'm gonna go back in with the dark brown just to blend out that edge. So good. Okay, let's do the under eye. Now, whatever I did in the crease is what I'm gonna do in the under eye. So we're gonna go with look up. I'll show you guys. We're gonna go in with look up. Glam King, I'm inspired. That's pretty much what we're gonna do. So let's do it. So we're gonna go in with look up first. This is on a Morphe M5608. I literally don't know. M507, I literally don't know. Numbers rubbed off. Looks pretty good, guys. I'm not mad at this eye look. Now we're gonna take a clean blending brush. Clean blending brush. We're gonna soften these edges. All right. That is my final, I don't know what's on. I am gonna add some brown liner. This is Costa Riche by MAC. I love a good brown liner. Okay, that is the final look. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye of camera and I'm gonna come back for blush and highlighter and lips and then we'll be done but i do love how that shadow turned out it's so pretty what do you guys think sound off down below let me know what you guys think um but i'll be right back all right guys <clears throat> i am officially done with my look i'm gonna zoom you guys out because i think you're a little too close for comfort and we're gonna do the rest of the face with some of the rest of the product so let's do that all right excuse me here we are um, first things first, we're going to put on some Brightener. We're going to use the KKW Brightening Powder in shade 2. I love this stuff. I literally can't do my makeup without it. So good. Okay. I think I lost my bronzer, so we're just going to take the brush. Now additional product. I'm just going to blend it. Okay, now it's time to add some blush. I'm going to clean, clean this real quick. So we're going to go in with blush. This brush is not dirty, it's stained. I have tried cleaning it, it is what it is, okay? So we're gonna go in with this new KKW blush, it's called Very Graceful. Um, I've tried to look at reviews of these blushes, but I actually do like her blushes. I have Destiny and Lux, and I really do like them. Um, here's this, I nicked it with my nail. Don't judge me, but let's just get our brush saturated. So, so I do have some on here. So I see it in the mirror, I don't see it on camera. I can see a little bit of it. It's very sheer. I do think if you are a deeper skin tone, this will not show up on you. It is so sheer and I'm building it. And I don't mind my blushes being on the more sheer side. This is like extremely. Even though in the mirror, I'm actually just showing up on camera now. All right. I'm really mad at that. So I do like to go overboard with my blushes because I like to do the Sonia X Fiza buffing technique and you kind of have to be heavy handed with blush. So I don't mind doing that even though it looks, oh no, you can kind of see it when I go like this. So you guys see it, it's a pretty shade. I'm not mad at it, it's very peachy. Kind of reminds me of MAC Peaches actually. So let's take a look here because MAC Peaches is one of my favorite blushes. Oh, it's like pretty much identical. This is just a little bit lighter. Interesting. All right. So it's very similar to MAC Peaches. I mean, who doesn't love a MAC Peaches moment? I'm gonna spray my face because I am powdered to the gods that I cannot deal. 
I'm gonna take some Fix Plus. This is the coconut scented one. I wish I looked at that before doing it, but I love Fix Plus, so I'm just gonna use it. See how that just made my face look so much less powdery? Love that. So I'm actually gonna spray my face with this for Sally Care Rose Gold Mist. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I kinda like how my highlighter looks when I spray this. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go with highlighter. I don't have a KKW highlighter to use, so we're gonna go with my favorite. Anastasia Beverly Hills, X M Reezy. I love highlighter, but I am breaking out, so I have to place this very carefully where it doesn't hit any of my breakouts. Yeah, I am highlighted by Evans. To highlight the inner corner of my eye, I'm actually gonna use something from the palette. I'm gonna go in with a beauty campaign. It's like this very pretty pink champagne-y color. Really pretty. Voila. We're gonna take that clean blending brush we've been using and just make sure those colors are married. Love how this eye look turned out. Very different for me. Um, let's buff out my face and then chill go from there. Going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. If you guys haven't seen me do this, it's fairly easy. I just take some of that powder onto my brush, swirl it in the cap so I'm not getting too much. And literally buff my face. See how that just kind of gave me a like flawless finish. I'm really obsessed with that technique. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do my mascara, do my lashes, we're gonna come back for the lips, and then we shall be done. See you guys in a moment. Okay guys, it took me a minute to get my lashes on. I don't know why I've been struggling lately, but I have been. So, it's okay. We are here, we are here. My lips have lip balm on them, but we are good. I'm not, so it's a little bit more dry. Okay, let's see. We have a lip combo, which I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love because it's a nude lip combo. Let's let's get real here. So the lip liner is called Beauty Icon, which is like this deep brown shade, which I'm here for. I like her lip liners a lot actually. We got the lipstick, which is he's a mixer, and I'm pretty sure that's because he probably mixes a billion shades to get something like this. Love it. And then we have a gloss called proud of you cute name i think the names are super cute in this collection it's just like a nude gloss i wonder if it's like it's super nude let's see let's apply some lip liner first i really like the shade no i am over liner so let me quickly overline Not bad, it's a pretty deep brown. I know they're really into like the super dark brown lip liner with not so dark of a lipstick. Not bad, I really like that combo. It's a lot darker than I think I'm used to. It's a lot darker than I'm used to, a lot, but. I feel like I just came out of the 90s with this lip combo. Okay, let's add the gloss on top to complete the look. I think we're basically done. I gotta do one thing, one key thing to get those lips, that lipstick off your teeth, which I struggle with on a daily. Best thing you can do. It just is what it is. I wish I had a better solution for you guys, but I do not. Let's take these clips out of my hair. Also another tip I can give you for my dark haired females, males, whatever. Take a makeup wipe and get that foundation out of your hair, girl. <clears throat> All right guys, here it is. So the lip is a lot darker than what I'm used to. I kind of wish it was more of a nude nude because I have like my favorite nude lipstick combo. It is actually KKW, my favorite nude combo. Um, I just think 
I think Kim's a lot darker than I am. And granted, I mean, look at my hands. I clearly go a lot darker with my foundation. Don't judge me, please. Okay, I know, but it just looks better on camera. I don't look as washed out. All right, guys, I am officially done with my makeup. I feel like it took me a minute to get here. My eyes are watering. Um, took me a minute to get here, but I am officially here. I really like the collection. I think it's super pretty. I like how they added a little bit more of bold colors in this collection, um, but it's still pretty neutral. You got my Mario is a celebrity makeup artist. He does a lot of red carpets, a lot of just stuff on camera, and I feel like when you're doing that type of makeup all the time, you're not going to use a lot of bold colors. You might add a little bit of color, but they're very muted, which I think this cranberry shade is. I feel like it's very, still has that red tone, still gives you that glam, but it's not so bright in your face. So you can wear it like an everyday kind of look, like that all over your lid, blended out with like one of these neutral shades, like just even don't move. This all over the lid with don't move, just blended out in the crease. Beautiful combo with some lashes. Love it. I wanted to use every sh as many shades as I could. That's why I did this. I think it turned out so pretty. I really like how it looks. I think this could be an everyday palette. I mean, this for me is going to be more so kind of sitting there for aesthetics because like look how stunning this packaging is. But I think it looks amazing. I think it looks really good. It blended out super easy. Um, I think also if you are an avid Kim and Mario fan, I think you will like the collection. If you're one of those people who just likes makeup and like you feel like you have the shades that are in this palette, I wouldn't get it. I'm an avid Kim and Mario fan. I'm a big Kim fan. So I was gonna get this palette. I mean, I love him. I think his makeup skills are stunning. So pretty. I mean, I love this. I truly do. I think it's so good. I would use every shade in this palette. Like, you could go from glam daytime or glam nighttime. I think it's great. Okay. The next thing I have is the blush. The blush, I think, is super nice. It showed up on my face. I think it's really good. It did take me a few, like, applications to really get the color to show up. So I do think it's a pretty sheer formula. Um, however, it reminds me a lot of MAC Peaches. So... I'll leave you guys up to that if you guys want to get it. I mean, her stuff is not expensive. I mean, I believe the blush is $18. The palette is $45. The lipstick, lip liner, and lip gloss are all $18. So, you know, this lip combo, I really do like it. I like the nude lipstick and the nude gloss. The lip liner is just a little too dark for me. I would go with a little bit of a lighter shade just because... Just because what? I lost my train of thought. Just because I feel like it's just a little too dark. Like it went a little bit more on the brown side versus the nude side for me, which is totally fine. I mean, if you have a deeper skin tone, I think you would actually really enjoy this. So, I mean, to each his own for that, I personally like a little bit of lighter nude lip. Just the shade lighter. Like, I would use, I love her 1.5 and her um, nude 1.5 and nude 1. I think those are perfect shades for me as in this I think this is kind of like more like a new 2 new 2.5 maybe even a 2.75 um, lip liner I think it's just a little too dark for me personally but it's a great lip liner if you have the perfect skin tone for it lipsticks love I mean I know I'm gonna definitely keep using it I think the nude is super pretty and I do like the gloss so I think with a different lip liner I'll like it a lot more so I will continue to use these but that is it for my review. I think it's a great collection. Congrats to Mario for an round two on the KKW collection. Congrats to Kim. I think this is a great collection. It truly shows their, it truly is like the artist and the muse. Like I feel like they really collaborated. They really created something that, you know, they would actually use, they will continue to use. I really do enjoy that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. If you guys want to see what else is on my face, I'll have all the information down below as I do always. But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this content. And leave a comment down below if you're going to be getting the palette or not. I want to know what you guys are doing. If you guys are excited, are you guys Kim fans? Let me know. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, and check out these videos I have for you right here. I'm sure you'll like that.